Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Because we're all doing fantastic. I just got in the car. I don't know what it is today. It's 90 degrees right now, and it is kind of like humid, and it's really overcast. Um, but of course, I'm still wearing sunglasses anyway. Those UV rays, man, they still come through the clouds. Uh, but we're gonna go thrifting. I'm really excited. I didn't get to go thrifting yesterday because we were at a family, like, little, um, party thing. So, yeah, today's my day. I'm really excited to go thrifting to see what we can find for the live sales. If you guys haven't joined the live sales, you'll see the schedule in the video section of my YouTube channel page. Just click on the video tab and then you'll see the scheduled live sales. And, yeah, turn on those notifications so you're notified when, um, those things do happen and uh we're gonna go thrifting i'm really excited i don't know where we're going maybe la i think i'm gonna check the the map right now because i i don't normally go if the traffic is gonna be too intense it's already like a long enough drive as it is but let's see and i'll see you guys over at the first spot all right you guys our first stop this is the crossroads where are we hollywood Boulevard or something? Oh, just kidding. This is the one on Sunset. That's where we are. Sunset. All right, you guys. I found this mulberry bag. I don't know if it's supposed to have a crossbody strap, but the leather is super soft, and it's $120 half off, or $120 half off. And there's this cute Mark Jacobs bag. I know this is like an older style, but this is a rare hardware because I've never seen this one. $28. Also cute. Oh, look at this clear bag. Do love a clear bag. That one's eighteen fifty. Armani nineteen collection. Collezioni. Interesting. I found this really great Madewell large tote bag. And I kind of like it, even if it's like worn in. Like the leather looks nice and soft. It just needs the conditioning, I think. This Henry Bendel has been here. I think this one's kind of, yeah, this one's 65 bucks. Oh, how cute are these? Lazy Oaf sandals from Doc Martens. All right, you guys, we just got to Melrose. Had to park down the street a little bit, but we're gonna go over to Crossroads right now. Guys, there's police activity over there. I don't know what's happening, but people are screaming. Oh my gosh. Alright guys. I was looking through bags and I found a lot. There's like a coat, Rebecca, Mark Jacobs, Kate Spade. I found this Philip Lim. Lots of goodies. <laughs> that went on forever too. All right, you guys. Next crossroads that for oh my gosh, the last one we just went to. So many good things. I got Givenchy. I got Hermes. Ah! And all for under one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Like I was crazy. Okay, you guys. Look at this cute coach. It's so dirty though, and it's fabric. But I did find this little Sagittarius Rebecca Minkoff pouch. Okay, don't really see anything else too exciting. This Vince bag is actually pretty cute. $37.50. Looks like a low eBay. It retails for $400. Alright guys, we just got to Studio City. And we're gonna head over to Crossroads over here. See if we can find anything cool. Ooh, this Marc Jacobs is super cute. Okay, this Longchamp is so cute. I think I have to get this. Also found this cute Tory Burch. I need some work on the handles. 
guys, okay, so we are back at the house, and I'm so sorry. I didn't really film too much while we were out thrifting today, but I was kind of in a hurry because I was trying to hit as many stores as I could. I totally forgot that it was Sunday and that everything closes a little bit earlier. So I was rushing around like a crazy person, like with a chicken with his head cut off, but I found some really great stuff. So let me kind of just like show you guys what I got. And I think the stuff that I got is so good. So let me just start off with this. So this is just a really nice, simple tote bag from Madewell. It's navy, and the leather has just like worn in beautifully. You can see that all, like the, the leather has been kind of like aged and worn in already, and I think it looks beautiful. Uh, you, I think I'll just like condition it and see how much of that color is brought back. Uh, I could always just add a little navy dye to it because there's no stains or anything. This is just how the bag is just going to wear naturally. The back is just a solid navy and then the front has this suede piece down the middle. And I kind of like that. Like it's almost two bags in one. You could just choose to carry it on the back or on the front and then you can have two different looks. And then the interior is all just suede. It's unlined. There's one zipper pocket and I got this guy for $18.50. And the interior is nice and clean as well. So it's just a nice great tote bag easy to carry on your shoulder it's a really good size it's comparable to like the mm from the louis vuitton neverfull and that is going to be our first item okay so let's go on to our second item and that is this guy and this is a mulberry uh like shoulder bag and i don't know if this like had a crossbody strap with it as well but there are two D-rings on the back, so I feel like it may have had a crossbody strap that it did not come with. Um, it also does have, like, I don't know if this is the front or the back. I think this actually might be the front of the bag. Hold on. Let me get into it. Oh, yeah, this is actually the front. So this is just, like, a metal luggage tag that has the Mulberry logo kind of, like, um, etched into there. And now that I know that this is the front, maybe this is just decorative. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research on this bag. But the leather on this is super duper soft. The top handles are a really good length. So this sits nicely and easily on your shoulder. And then the interior just has a zipper pocket. And then there's also an open pocket underneath. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. This one was $120, but it was half off. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And yeah, so this is our second item. Just a really nice mulberry bag. Then up next, I have for you guys this rag and bone crossbody flat bag. This one was $37.50. And it's just a black leather. It has also black tonal hardware. There is a little bit of like color loss on the hardware, which is to be expected with black hardware. Whenever you have black hardware, I don't know why they can't make like the hardware just like the metal just black I don't know so it's always just like painted but with rag and bone I feel like rag and bone uh, bags are kind of meant to be lived in kind of like have like that worn look I even like the creasing that it has in the top flap right here it has gunmetal colored hardware there's a leather piece on the shoulder strap as well so when you're wearing it cross body it's gonna sit really nicely on your shoulder it does have a back a magnetic snap pocket right there and then the front opens like this you pull out this piece right there this flap opens up there's a front pocket right here and it's actually lined in leather and suede and then the interior of the main compartment of the bag looks like this I could do kind of like how it has that white leather pocket inside of there so there's that pocket and that's pretty much it and then this interior like the main interior of the bag is lined in a fabric and it actually does also have these like little metal feet at the bottom and this guy I got for $37.50 so really great bag rag and bone bags I feel like are really really nice and I love also that this is the convertible bag so you can wear it as a shoulder or as a crossbody so there's that guy then up next I have this fantastic Kate Spade I love the color of this. It's like a golden brown. And then it has like this woven leather detail in black and white all around the front, which I think is a nice 
accent. It also does have this zipper that goes all the way around the perimeter at the bottom of the bag. So it opens up so you can make the bag wider. You get about, looks like two inches um, extra if you unzip it or you can have it closed and it's a little bit more flat. And it does have the little shoulder strap, the cross body strap, which is removable and adjustable. And there's also this back zipper pocket. There is a little bit of stuff right here. I think something just like kind of spilled on it, but I'm pretty sure that'll just come off with a little bit of leather conditioner. And I also do like that it has this black and white tassel in the front. It goes with the uh, the braided detail here in the front. And when you get into the main compartment of the bag, it also does have a black and white stripe. I love that it's keeping that motif inside of there. Nice details. And there's a zipper and then uh, two open pockets right inside of there. And the interior is actually nice and clean, which is fantastic. So Kate Spade, beautiful. I feel like Kate Spade doesn't normally do designs like this. I feel like this looks a little bit more like something Rebecca Minkoff would probably do. So I thought that was like a nice little departure from the norm. And this leather is amazing. It's really, really nice, super soft. And again, that color is beautiful. And then we just have the light gold hardware on this guy. And this one was $37.50. Then up next, another bag with a beautiful color and this is a Marc Jacobs drawstring crossbody bucket bag. This blue is stunning and it has silver hardware to go with it which I think is a nice touch. I do love silver hardware and yeah the heart um this little Marc Jacobs placard right here is inlaid with leather, which is nice. I like that so the hardware, like the metal, doesn't get a lot of wear. Um, the drawstring is right there. And the interior, oh, it also does have little shoulder straps. <gasps> I didn't even notice that. That's fantastic. Let's add this on, actually. Ooh, it just got even better. I love when bags have a uh, different strap options so this is fantastic so you can wear it as a shoulder bag like this oh it's so good and shoulder hobo bags like shoulder bags are so in right now too so that's fantastic that you have the option and you can't take that strap off too so if you want to take off the strap like how it was originally how did i not even notice that that was inside the bag that's crazy but the interior has a zipper pocket and just two open pockets the bag is in pretty great shape it doesn't have too much wear to it and the inside is nice and clean the exterior just looks like it has, actually it's in pretty good shape. It has like some marks right here um, and also right here, but we'll see if we can clean it up. I think, I don't know if it's like a superficial mark or um, we might do a little touch up. And there is also, oh no, I thought it was a pen mark. See how there's like this little, I don't know, is it going to show up on camera? Do you see these little black marks right there yeah right near right here do you see that it looks like the edge coat of something touched it and it's literally just coming off with my fingernail so yeah that is nothing to worry about but otherwise like the any potential wear is right here at the bottom slash corner so fantastic i really 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 like the color of this bag it's beautiful i do love like a blue bag and I'm really excited to have that. And since we're on Marc Jacobs, I also have this Marc Jacobs little backpack right here. And this is in a light gray, again, with silver hardware. This one's also $37.50. We have the backpack straps that are kind of like a seatbelt strap here on the back. We have a little top handle. There's a little front pocket right here. Um, what's crazy is like the leather feels like a little sticky, like something got on it. So I'm pretty sure just a little bit of cleaning and like leather conditioner will fix that right up. And the interior is in pretty good shape. Just use a little bit of vacuum, it's a little dusty. And there's the one interior zipper pocket inside of there. But this is also a newer style from like Marc Jacobs backpacks also. So I was pretty excited to find this. And I know it's coming up kind of like more whitish on camera but this is a really light like grayish blue color and it has this really nice pebbled leather all right then up next ooh, okay this one was cool i love this collection from coach it's the like the rexy collection that's the little t-rex right there and this is one of like the little rainbow bags so the leather of the bag is in this pebbled maroon leather and it has double zip compartments up at the top. So the first compartment has a pocket. The back one has 
Looks like two built-in card slots right there. And what I love about this bag too is that you can remove the straps and just use this as a little clutch if you wanted or even like kind of like a larger kind of like wallet. But it also does come with this rainbow fabric strap, which is so fun. And you can use this on any bag. Just take this off, put it on another bag, and then you have like a fun rainbow strap on your bag. So I really, really like the option of this strap and how many different ways you can like use this item, which is fantastic. And I got this guy for $32.50. I love that it says it's called a coach fanny pack, but like it's not really a fanny pack. But look at how cute it is, kind of like as a crossbody, you just have some fun pops of color and like it totally goes with like the rainbow of the print right here of our little Rexy friend. So I'm pretty excited about this bag. I love a good strap when it comes with the bag and you can use it on other things as well. You just definitely get a lot of use out of that item. And then up next, we'll do another coach piece. And this one is, whenever I see these, I pr almost always buy them if they're a good price. Um, this one was $65. So this one I kind of paid for, I think this is out of the items I showed you so far, this was the most expensive. But the, this collection is expensive from coach. This is like the coach, like kind of like, I think it's the T-Rose. I'm not 100% certain, but this style is so chic. It's like a flap bag. There's a nice back pocket right there. We also do have the little coach hang tag. Um, and then we have the little turn lock with a flower. So pretty. You open it up, it's this beautiful like burgundy microfiber lining. There's actually a little front pocket right here. This is magnetic, so a little magnetic flap pocket. You have a pocket in the front and then another pocket behind it. So lots of compartments, lots of organization, all lined in this beautiful, beautiful microfiber. And then the main compartment of the bag is right here. There's a zipper pocket and then there's actually a pocket behind it as well. So lots of compartments, like I said, and you have this beautiful golden brown tan leather. And then you have the uh, brown coach monogram and then the flower is again really pretty and the strap actually is also woven with leather through it and you can wear it as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody. So we have multiple carrying options on this guy and the contrasting stitching is really pretty. It matches the color of the Coach Monogram coated canvas and that's our Coach bag. Beautiful. So many good bags today, I'm so excited. Okay, up next, I was very happy for this as well. And this is a beautiful Philip Lim Pagely. And I'm really excited. This is one of my favorite style of bags. And this one, it was $42.50. And it's in, so this, like the, it's like a black and white leather. I don't know, it's really cool. It kind of reminds me of caviar leather from Chanel. And then we have the smooth black leather. And I love these little zipper details on the sides and like the wings kind of pop out a little bit, which I love. It does have this little mark right here, which I think is just superficial. Uh, we'll just clean that off. It has silver hardware and then it has a crossbody strap as well, which is removable and adjustable. Then when you get into the main compartment of the bag, it does need a little bit of a cleaning, but there's just one interior zipper pocket right there and the bag is gorgeous. So excited, Philip Lim. Also, what I discovered when I was in the store is that this tag on here was initially wrong. It had like a, it said Proenza Schooler on it and I was like, ooh, and it was priced way more expensive. I think it was like priced at one, 150, something like that. And then I went to the front when I was paying, I was like, oh, I was like, uh, I think you like marked this wrong. This was a Philip Lim and I was just like, I just wanted to make sure that it had like the right tag on it because yeah, I mean, like normally they put like the brand name on there and they looked it up in the computer and it turns out that when they got this bag, they got a other bag in with it and it was a, a Peronza Schooler bag and they switched the tags up by accident. So when I found out this was $42.50, I was like, yes. So I was really excited. Great deal on this. So yay, Philip Lim. So excited. This is the size small too, I believe this is small. Pretty happy about that. So I was able to get a good price on that one. I was like, oh man, it's gonna be like 150, but like it still would have been pretty good price. Um, then, okay, this is the piece de resistance. I'm so excited about this piece. I'm so sad that it doesn't fit my wrist. I'm gonna have to like 
cut my wrist in half or something so this fits me. But this is our last item for today's haul and it is inside this beautiful Hermes little jewelry box. And here she is. It is this beautiful Hermes bracelet. Ugh. And it is so gorgeous too. I'm like, it's so cute. Uh, I wish this fit me. Um, so this is Hermes, made in the USA. And I don't know how to tell what the size is, but it has like these numbers on it. I don't know if that's just like the serial code or something, but it does also come with the little dust bag inside as well. And it has this little like accessory care booklet inside. So this is so fantastic. It comes with like the box, the dust bag, and ugh, it doesn't fit like my fat wrist, which is so depressing. I'm still trying to try to, oh my gosh, am I actually gonna get this on? I don't think so. It's just, ugh, it would like never fit my wrist. If it did, it would probably never, I would probably never be able to get it off. Like I kind of, I could kind of get it like around, but like this is like not gonna work out for me. And how would, how cute would this be on my wrist? It would be beautiful. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that. It's almost done. I, I don't think I can turn it. Like my wrist is just like, it's like physically impossible. Cause that's just like my, the, the bone of my wrist and I know this one's like my smaller wrist I feel like I could force it on but then I'd never get it off so I don't even want to push it but this is an authentic Hermes bracelet fantastic I'm gonna have to look this up and find out what the retail price is um, but I know Hermes jewelry is pretty expensive and I think I got this oh man where's the price it was inside one of the bags it had like a I think it was like 150 or something for this at the store, which I think is still like a really great price. Uh, but that is actually going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys had fun checking out stores and what I found. I'm sorry again that I didn't film too much. I was in such a hurry and sometimes I would just like forget to film because I was just like running from place to place, but found some really great stuff and I can't wait to show you guys these items during one of the live sales. And if you would like to join one of the live sales, I just hit the little uh, video tab on my YouTube channel page and it'll show all the scheduled lives uh, for at least the next coming week. Uh, tune in tomorrow but early at 7 a.m. for a new video. I do post videos every single day. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, bye guys.